call the borough council meeting to order. It is 635. Welcome. Our second order of business is pledge allegiance will rise and uh, Mr. Travis. Next, we'll have uh, announcements, comments by council and the mayor. Mr. Carroll, we'll start with you. I just want to say thank you for all of the work that council has put on, that, that everybody on staff has put in to working through and continuing to work through this short-term rental ordinance. It's very near and dear to my heart, and I think it's near and dear to a lot of people here, and I think we're working together, taking everybody's opinions into account. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McGinnis. Thank you, Mr. President. So I just want to uh, reiterate the fact uh, what we've been doing and actually what all of us have been doing on Borough Council, Borough staff, Sean, uh, and especially Barb Leonti. And th this really should be, we should really be singing the praises of this and how we've updated our fiscal situation uh, through accounting measures, through uh, working together and turning budget deficits into budget surpluses. That's a very good thing. And then as a result, that's updated our credit rating from AA negative to AA stable. So that helps reduce borrowing costs for the borough moving forward. And if we continue to make improvement, we continue to upgrade our credit rating. So give a shout out to everyone who did that again, Barb Leonti, hopefully you're listening, uh, borough staff, and, and again, council members and former council member, Nick Allen. You should get a shout out as well because he was the one who helped uh, start the genesis of uh, this entire uh, direct new direction that we're moving forward. So I just wanna make mention to that. Thank you, Mr. Travis. I just wanted to uh, give a shout out or acknowledgement to the greenhouse. The greenhouse is, if you haven't been there yet, it, it's it's an interesting store and probably very unique to Westchester, you know, which is, we're so familiar with pizza places and hair cutteries and bars and restaurants and other establishments, but the greenhouse expanded into uh, where the old Fairman skate shop was for such a very, very long time. And I think you know, a lot of us were feeling nostalgia about something that has been here for such a long time, no longer being here. but. It, it feels very fresh and uh, just it, it really it's something that, that anybody that lives in the borough or in any dense city living type of environment can see and, and just understand. It just makes sense. Like you see that and you want to go in there and you want to put something in your house. So I just wanted to congratulate them, first of all, for having success and then expanding into this uh, venue that I think a lot of us have some familiarity with maybe even some nostalgia. So the greenhouse. Thank you, Ms. Dorsey. Thank you, Mr. McCoy. Um, really just want to uh, recognize all the um, EMTs, fire department, police department for uh, national night out last night. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to attend, I was here. Um, but I did see all the festivities as I was riding by. Also want to remind folks that school's starting next week and uh, to mind the school bus flashing lights and bus stops so we can keep our children safe. Um, and um, got a topic for next month's, I think, public safety meeting uh, with uh, some of the occurrences uh, at during the, the ordinance, the public hearing. That's it. Thank you, Mr. Flynn. Greetings from the sweetest ward in the borough, the sixth ward. Mr. Travis, thank you very much for mentioning a beautiful new building that we have there in the Fairman spot. But I'm going to go a little bit lighter this month. On September the 4th, all of you people that think that Mr. Scrooge um, needs to be straightened out, I'll be sitting in a dunk tank on September the 4th. Bill, I expect to see you there from 6.30 to 7. I'll be there. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
I'm paying some people to come. That way there, uh, I get at least somebody to show up. But anyway, uh, the dunk tank for the 225th anniversary of Westchester, uh, number one, the, uh, they were right there on Church Street uh, where Slow Hands is now. That's the original building. And we're gonna have a block party there to celebrate their 225. Anybody that thinks they can knock me in the tank, show up. Thank you, Ms. Mone. Oh, so many things I want to respond to that. I'm going to start working out and start learning how to throw the ball again. Um, also, yeah, the the fire firehouse. I have fond memories of going there for the turkey raffles um, back 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 in the day before Slohan came along. The great place, um, and I will be there supporting. Um, along with that, uh, kind of. I thought Lisa was going into this talking about school starting next week. She was talking about the younger children. I want to talk about the older children who are also coming back this weekend, um, have probably already started coming back in some neighborhood, uh, the Westchester University students. Um, so school's going to be starting up soon for them too, I think next week, but definitely this is welcome weekend for them. So all the students are moving back into the dorms. Uh, as Julie Dietrich mentioned yesterday, there are some events around town this weekend. Um, kind of as in conjunction with first Friday uptown, there'll be a welcome events around town for um, both students and residents and businesses. And so come on out. Um, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff and there's some activations and things that Keith is doing. It's going to be a good time for people um, as well. If you want to talk good neighborship, there are, there's some ice cream socials this weekend around town that, um, were advertised to come come out, talk to the students, have them talk to you, get to know each other, and and uh, talk about being good neighbors with each other, and um, you know help to build that community. But uh, just wanted to put a shout out for that event this weekend. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, thank you, uh, President. Um, so what we'd like, what I'd like you to know is two things, um, three things. Even I just would like to reiterate uh, to come out for the 225th, another celebration of Westchester, um, right on Church Street, the block party. And yeah, I, I, I'm not a good thrower, but I don't know. I think you've incentivized me. I don't think you have to, I don't think you have to pay anybody to show up. <laughs> I'm going to work on that throw. <laughs> so anyway. I uh, look forward to being there for that. Also, I look forward to Friday evening, as uh, Vice President said, I look forward to being uh, at the event around town to support Westchester University. And we have uh, one other concert, and that is next Thursday, not, not tomorrow. Uh, next Thursday, what is today? I don't even know the day. But next Thursday, the 29th, it's going to be at John O'Green Park. It's reggae music, uh, so it's a nice change. Um, it's at the park. Um, I forgot the time, but the time the, there is a flyer posted on the front door. I noticed uh, with the name of the band and the times and everything at John O'Green. So if you love reggae music, uh, come and the first a hundred children. Um, my office, uh, the mayor's office, and the chief of police, Chief Lee, and the police department are providing free ice cream uh, to all the children. So come one, come all. We look forward to seeing you to all three events. Thank you. Well, you, you've already said most of the things that were on my list. Um, so fall is quickly coming. Uh, pumpkin spice is available already at Wawa. Um, <laughs> As of yesterday, um, the only other thing I have is I, I hope you have uh, save extra dollars for the dunk booth because I'm right after Bernie. So <laughs> thank you. Uh, we'll go on to Dana's being dunked too. So, so no one's going to want to dunk you, Dana. <laughs> Tired arms by then. We'll, we'll be out of money by then, Dana. <laughs> Here we go. I heard Chief Lee has a rubber arm, so that's okay. Okay, moving on to item four, comments, suggestions, petitions by residents in attendance regarding items that are not on the agenda. Mr. Cook. 
Daryl Cook, South Walnut Street. I hope uh, the safety procedures at High and Union Street at the bump out will be better than the ones at High and Minor. I'm concerned about bicycle safety also. Thank you. Thank you. Two things. I wanna give a very public shout out to Dana for all of her help over the last couple of weeks. I've had some right to know requests in and she has been an immense asset in getting things straightened out and moving in the right direction. So um, she deserves more gold stars than I can count. Um, and I think you all need to know how much she does. Um, kind of one of the unsung heroes. Um, the other thing is, and it was really gonna be a tag along to the short-term rental discussion. Um, on the borough website is a list of the student housing. I would like to see a list of all the rentals in the borough. And then when short-term rentals become available, legal, have a third list with them. Um, it would be really good to know if the property next to you or across the street is actually a rental that's on a list. We just found one that might not be on any list. Um, and it would be even better to know what kind of rental it's supposed to be. So, um, you know, a tenant list, you know, you don't have to have tenant names or anything else on these lists, just this is the address, this is what it allowed for and what the occupancy is. Uh, I think it's easily done. Thank you. Thank you. I will say that the community campus committee is working on pulling data regarding students where students are living to try to help get to, I think, what you're trying to, to get to and understand where everyone is, not necessarily which are student rentals. <laughs> Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. So, so know that that's also being worked on actually from the university angle with some, some, um, students that are actually pulling the data together and crunching it for them. That's great. Did you know that we used to be given a list of the ad names and addresses of students who lived off campus and we could match that to the rentals in the borough and make sure that they were in approved housing or and if they weren't, we could work to do something about it. Um, University stopped providing that list a number of years ago. And I'm assuming something legal happened. That uh, <laughs> no, I think I think it was a transition in administration, and they decided they didn't want to make they didn't want to share. I'll just leave it like that. But thanks. Thank you. Any other comments? Okay, seeing none, well, we will move on to item five, reports and presentation. And I don't believe we have any. Uh, so we'll move on to old business. Motion to approve the August 21, 2024 consent agenda. I think we we're going to have a- Yes, Mr. President, I would like to request the move uh, from the consent agenda to discussion item number six, under, under consent to discuss the proper number of leased vehicles in 2025. Last night we had uh, a situation. Uh, first of all, is that approved? Approved. Thank you. Uh, last night we had a small discussion on the vehicles that we're going to lease for 2025. Uh, one was an F-350 truck for public works, uh, three patrol cars for the police department, one Nissan Leaf for building and housing, and uh, one that was omitted, which was one Ford Explorer for the police department. So in, in, instead of having five lease cars for 2025 going into our budget, we're actually uh, requesting to have six. F-350 truck, three police cruisers, one uh, Ford Explorer for the police department, 
and one Nissan Leaf for building and housing. Thank you. Any discussion, comments? Just to comment that th these take so long to order that this is not going to affect the 2024 budget and this, these are being ordered in advance in anticipation of the 2025 budget being put together. These items would be in there and we would be making first payments in the beginning of next year or maybe even middle of next year. Is that correct? Well, we don't, we won't be making payments until we take receipt of the vehicles. And that probably may not that we may not get them until July or August of 2025. That was it. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. So why would we move this from consent to discussion? Because, um, the, the, in the discussion last night, it was, they talked about five cars, not six. So we're moving it so that everyone is aware that it, it is actually six, not five. Any other questions, comments? No, Mr. President. Any public comments or questions? So uh, do we have a motion to approve that single item or do we do that someone, separately from the consent? Someone needs to make a motion to approve um, the leasing of six vehicles in 2025. I'll make a motion. So moved. Just call the question. Uh, Ms. Dorsey? Yes. Mr. Flynn? Yes. Ms. Vaccaro? Yes. Mr. McGinnis? Yes. Mr. Travis? Yes. Ms. Shimoni? And Mr. McCoy? Yes. 7 0. Okay. Item seven. Uh, any new business? We still have the consent agenda to approve. Uh, yeah, correct. So, do we have a motion to approve the consent agenda? I make a motion we approve the consent agenda as presented and revised. And I will second that. Mr. Metric, please call the question. Ms. Dorsey? Mr. Flynn? Yeah. Ms. Vaccaro? Yes. Mr. McGinnis? Yes. Mr. Travis? Yes. Ms. Shimoni? Yes. And Mr. McCoy? Yes. Okay, any new business? Seeing none, any other business? Okay, seeing none, we are adjourned at 652.